how to make your app more user friendly by allowing users to find what they need. Whether it's a list of product names or anything else, filtering can transform endless scrolling to a seamless searching experience. Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. Filtering is one of the most important feature in modern apps that allows users to find exactly what they are looking for. Imagine a hundred or thousand number of data. Nobody wants to scroll that much, right? That's where filtering comes in. So before moving any further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. We are going to implement filtering in our Xeno API to get the filtered data. We are going to create a search box so that the user can find the search data in our flutter flow. Also, we are going to create our list view without using the backend query. So first, we will go to our Xeno and here I will create my endpoint. Select customer and it will be get and save. Now, first I will create an input which will be input and in my query all records in the filter I will select by custom query here I will add a condition and in my condition let's suppose we want to search our data by first name so here I will select the operator includes and on the right hand side I will select my input and click on save. After publishing when I click on run and here I search a name Stacy so I only got those records which have first name Stacy and in case when our input is empty, I am getting all my records. So we have implemented filtering. Now I will go to my flutter flow and here in my API, I will create API call. And I will copy the endpoint URL, paste it here, copy the name and in the query parameters I will write input from variable and it will be of type string. Now when I test the API call, so here I am getting my data. And here, if I select Lauren, so I got only those data which contain Lauren. Now I will just select add JSON path. And in my JSON path, I will name it result and click on add call. After that, in my page, first, I will add a column and in my column I will add a text field to filter our data and after that I will add a list view and the column padding will be 10. In the text field will be left aligned and I will add the hint text search and the border color will be primary text focus border color will be secondary border radius will be 20 and after that in my list view, I will also add a padding of 10 
and in my list view I will add a card border radius will be 20 elevation will be 2 and in my card I will add a column and in my column I will add to text alignment will be left align and the column padding will also be 10 and item spacing will also be 10 here our list view now we won't use our backend query this time we will open our own load action and here I will select API call select the API call the input will be empty string because we want to display all the data in the beginning it will be on load call on load call now I will create a page state variable which will be of type JSON and will be a list and its name will be result json result json and in my onload call response i will update the page state result json and confirm so we have added our api call and our result we have stored it in our page state JSON. Now, in my search field, I will select the action on change. And in my action, I will add API call again. Customers input. Input will be our widget state. It will be search call and in my response I will select update page state again and set value will be our action output search call JSON body predefined path and result my mistake here also will be onload call JSON body predefined path and result so we have added two API calls first is our onload call when this call is succeeded in our page state the result will be stored and in our search box the same is happening now in my list view instead of adding backend query I will just go to my value and here I will select result JSON and click on result and say now in my text I will select JSON path dot first name which is first underscore name and second is our whatever you want to display I am displaying company and confirm so now I will just test my API call So in our testing session, our data is visible now. Now to check our search box, I will just select name Jenna and here our search is working. Same when I reset it, the data has come again. Now what if I want to search? with company and name both so for that we just need to go to our api and here our query all records we just need to add or and select here company and includes and copy the input and click on save again 
and when I click on publish we don't need to instant reload our app now if I search Terry so here is our data showing now I go to backspace and select cherry so all the records which contains cherry are visible now so that's how easily we implemented searching in our flutter flow so in this video we learned how to implement filtering in our Zeno API we created a search box to search the data in our list view also we implemented a list view without using our backend query thank you for choosing know-how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning